answer a question here. The question is, what's you guys' tolerance level like? Would you save an obviously in need girl, etc., or something, or would you keep to yourself? So this is in response to a video that we posted where it was meant to be funny, but it obviously has a message at the end. Do not get involved in situations or conflicts that don't involve you, right? But this person is asking, okay, so when would you get involved? So when would you get involved? That all depends on you, honestly. And you should, okay, this is not legal advice. I'm not a lawyer, but at least be aware of the laws for your state. If you're going to get involved in a conflict that doesn't involve you, make sure that you know how that conflict started, meaning who is the aggressor and who is the victim. So I'll use Virginia as an example. In Virginia, if you are defending a person, whether they are the victim or the aggressor, you are acting in that person's place. That is why it's important to know how that conflict actually started. Because if you end up def defending or helping the aggressor, then you might or most likely you will get into legal trouble. So that is why it's important to know who in fact is the victim. If you're not sure, be a witness, call the police, be a good Samaritan in that way. Again, it's very important that you are aware of how a conflict was initiated who the aggressor was, and who the victim is. If you're not sure, do not get involved. Please do not get involved. Again, I'm not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. Always refer back to your state laws. Every state is different. But just remember that it's probably not the best idea to get into something that has nothing to do with you, especially if you don't know how it started. I hope this was helpful. I hope everybody has a great day. Stay safe, stay vigilant, stay strapped.